happy Saturday. <clears throat> Let me close this. It's about, it's actually 8.46 and I'm just now going to make some food for us to nosh on. <coughs> We've been out and about in the street because this is going to be the last pretty day before all heck breaks loose weather-wise. So a little dude and I headed out and made sure we had staples in the house, snacks in the house, and then we stopped off at Black Friday, picked up a few things. I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. I washed all my dishes in case the water freezes. You see the bread. You see the bread because anytime you live anywhere where you're not used to cold winter weather, you got to have the bread and the milk, okay? So got the milk in the refrigerator, got the bread here. <sighs> and I am just now settled in. Uh, we got home. I washed dishes, like I said put groceries away. I cleaned out the fishies tank and now I'm going to make just some uh, uh, ham and cheese melts with some little round um, fried taters and thought maybe I want to hang out with me. Let me wash my hands because I just coughed in one of them. So for my little taters I just put in some salt and pepper and a little bit of flour and I'm going to season with my favoriteest seasoning ever, this ranch seasoning I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I could just fry them, and I've done that before, but I end up sprinkling the seasoning on top anyway. And then, if you dunk your fry in just a little bit of flour, it gets that crispy coating on the outside. I love that. Um, got my oil heating, so that's all I'm going to do. Just a quick little prep. Just cut my taters into little rounds. Kind of dunk them in the flour. These are going to take longer than the sandwich because the sandwich is just a friggin' ham and cheese, grilled cheese. Just a grilled cheese sandwich. So I want to get my taters on. It's just something about this weather. Just makes you want comfort food like this. Yeah, supposed to settle in tonight. Temperature's already dropped. Tomorrow night's going to be the worst of it into Monday. So I don't know if school's going to be canceled or not. Y'all know little dudes are looking forward to it being canceled. But we'll see. We're stocked with firewood and snacks and water and the house is nicely insulated. So we are good for right now. Test the oil with a little bit of flour. See if it dances. If it dances, drop our taters in. I was going to do potato chips, but no. Why not have a nice, yummy, fried potato to go with it? While these are browning, I'm going to go ahead and prep the sandwiches. And the sandwich prep is very basic. A little margine or butter, whatever you like, on the outsides of your sandwich. I'm using the last of the Lando Frost ham that I picked up at Winkle, I believe. It's pretty darn good. And I'm going to use some shredded cheese. You can use American if you want. You can use cream cheese if you want. You can use whatever you want. I want to use uh, shredded because I think it tastes better. So what I do is I smash it into the bread some because this can make a big mess on your griddle. If it ain't smashed in right. If you're going to use shredded. If you're going to use American, not a problem. But I just think this tastes better. Then I'm going to layer on a few slices of ham. And I have a brand new package in there. Um, I just wanted to finish this one off. 
then I do a little more on the top. Super cheesy goodness. Put my buttered side back on and I repeat the process. I know guys, some of y'all are going to be like, really Mel? Stop being so condescending. Who doesn't know how to make a grilly cheesy? A lot of people don't, y'all. A lot of people don't know how to make a grilly cheesy. So I ended up having to break out the second package. This great value, guys. Don't sleep on it. It is so good. The Black Forest Yummers. ready to go on the comal, the griddle. The doorbell rang just a bit ago and it was Amazon. My son was waiting for a package and my first thought was, oh my gosh, I don't have enough food to feed anybody. I prefer not to be surprised by visits, but if I am, especially if I'm making something to eat, I want to be sure that I have enough food to feed somebody because you don't come to my house without being offered something, you know? That's just the way I was raised. Offer them a drink, offer them some food. Even if you have surprise guests, gotta have something. But anywho. Um, yeah, it was Amazon. How are you guys doing? My locals, my local yokels, are y'all ready for the weather? Have y'all got your bread and milk? Have y'all um prepped your house and and everything? I think we're ready. I'm actually looking forward to setting a fire in the fireplace, although that first fire of the season, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Uh, I always end up smoking out my friggin' living room. Granted, the wood I used last year wasn't really technically firewood. It was wood that my mom's neighbor had um, chopped up into bits because he cut down a tree. So it wasn't all the way dry yet. So I think that's why I ended up smoking out the house for just a bit, but then we got a nice little fire going. But um, I do have a few pieces of that, but it's been drying for a friggin' year, so I think we should be good. Um, the only thing I didn't get a chance to do was make um, Bella Boo a shelter, and she is so desperate meowing outside, guys wanting to come in. Oh, I need to, I need to repack the seal on the patio door now that I'm thinking about it because that's the last time I saw her on the little patio door that you guys saw me dragging in my plants from um the seal came off when I opened it uh we hardly ever used that door so the seal was kind of dry and crack crackly and crusty the whole door is pretty dry and crackly and crusty so I actually need to before I settle into bed I need to stuff the cracks with uh some of this little vent stuff I have um but, yeah, I wanted to make her a shelter. I felt so bad. She really wants to come in, but I can't. Ozzy is Ozzy. Oh, Ozzy. Martin is still nervous of her. Martin is still scared of her. Uh, and I don't blame him. You know, she got kind of an attitude. Um, and um, I'm not ready to commit to another kitty cat, but I do really, really feel bad that she's going to be out there in this cold. I kept trying to tell her, find shelter, dum-dum, find shelter. Uh, last time I looked out there, I don't want to go out there too much or fiddle around too much with the doors or the windows because she comes running and I want her to be settled and comfortable wherever the heck she's going to be for the night. I was thinking about putting one of Martin's boxes, he loves his boxes, outside with a little blanket uh, for her right there by the porch and that's probably what I'm going to end up doing just as a um, quick little um, um, cozy out try and position it towards the wall, the opening towards the wall. I have an idea in my head of how to make a little box into kind of a little triangle house. Uh, and I want to do that after we eat. Um, but I'm just waiting for the taters to cook. I went ahead and transferred my taters to a zip -locky bag so I can clean as I go. I don't want the kitchen a mess. I just washed the dishes. Um, but my taters are almost done. I have this many to go. And then... We'll sit neat and then I'll show you guys what we picked up at Black Friday today. I had to partake. They look pretty pale because flowers white and the ranch seasoning is white. But trust me when I tell you, that little extra texture, that little extra crunch is so good. If I had seasoned it with like seasoned salt, they would be red or pink. Like, who is that? Popeyes. 
Popeye's Dunk Stir Fries in flour, ice water and flour, when it gets that crispy bubbly thing happening. I didn't do the ice water because I didn't want to clean up grease splatter. If I had a deep fryer, I would have done the ice water and then the flour. But, we ain't Popeye's. But, food's almost ready. It's 9.17. 9.17, we're going to be eating this late. But it's okay. We're going to be up all night, I'm sure. I'm a little anxious about the weather. And I know people around here were too. Because we went to Aldi. Not Aldi. We went to Winko to get last minute things. And ended up at the freaking Dollar General, honey. Because Dollar General has staples as well. A little more expensive, but they still had everything. And it wasn't as chaotic. We went to Winko. And I think people around here are still traumatized from 2021. When the ice and, you know, all that horrible stuff happened. Man, um, we're not used to that stuff around here. When I tell you guys, the lines were wrapped around the entire store. Winko hardly ever has all of their lines open. All of their lines were open, including the self-checkout. This was like 4.30. And I'm not exaggerating when I tell you guys that the lines were wrapped around the store, literally around the store and all through the aisles, like from front of the register straight to the aisles to the back. Uh, the the um, the registers on this side and the, the pay your own on this side were wrapped around produce and meat. It was crazy. So we walked in, walked out, and went to Dollar General. We didn't need anything. I had already gone to the grocery store, but I just wanted to be sure, sure, you know, that I had this little extra just in case. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little traumatized too, but, um, hopefully it's not going to be anything like, um, that year. That was, that was, that was truly terrifying, but what's the weather like where y'all are at? I cracked up hearing about blizzards in Texas a couple days ago. I forget some of Texas has mountains making it colder, but a blizzard in Texas? I'd be ashamed of myself not knowing this. Let me flip these fries. And then, because we got to have a little something to dunk our little fries in, I'm making a spicy ranch. Ranch dressing and your hot sauce of choice. I prefer Cholula, Cholula red. They have a Cholula green. Squirt a little lemon in here. My big dude doesn't like lemon, so I'm just going to opt out. Plus, I already washed everything, and I don't want to wash anything else besides a few other little things I need. That's yummers. So here they are. I had them draining on a cookie sheet and then I went ahead and put them in a colander. I'm going to season them up just a little more. Salt, pepper, a little more ranch poo. Now the last ones I just got out of here are hot. So I don't want to stick my hand in there. And I really am just learning how to do that. <laughs> I'm just now learning how to do that. Ah, se me pasó la mano. That was way too much ranch. Love me some pepper. Okay. something okay okay there we go I'm gonna leave these here I'm gonna get these sandwiches on the griddle real quick Ya acabé de tragar, ya tengo la panza llena, la tripa gorda, 
Y ahora vamos a hacer el parte del video donde les enseño todo lo que he comprado. <laughs> Hello, people. Okay, what I had said was that I finished eating, my belly is full, uh, I'm about to burst, uh, and now is the part of the video where I'm going to show you guys what I purchased, what we got at, I hope that's not real hair because I'm going to, some of my hair, I hope it's part of Halloween or a wig or something because there was a whole bunch of wigs at the um black friday there's always weeks at the black friday but anywho i am kind of mesmerized by something that i picked up here's a big old bag these are good trash bags okay good trash bags a big old uh goodwill bags the big old thrift town bags and the black friday bags are super super good for trash anywho it was halloween up in there okay uh, it was $6 a day, uh, but little dude didn't go with me the last time I went. Um, I don't think he was, yeah, that was so weak. He wasn't feeling too well, and I was at the Walgreens anyway, picking up prescriptions and stuff. So we went this week and had a little fun. So now I have seen this at Spirit Halloween, and I never purchased it for him because it looks so corny. It's this plasty foam. I think it's foam. It's so big and, and just corny looking. Uh, but it was there. So I went ahead and picked it up today. Because these are like $14.99 on the regular around Halloween. So I was like, eh, why not? And he hadn't found anything that he specifically wanted. I mean, he walked around and around and around. But he wasn't finding anything. I found this for him and he wanted it. And then I found this thing for him. Now, prepare yourself. It's gross. It's a mask. It's scary. So, um, if you don't like scary, turn away. I'll put in a little time marker in here as to when you can skip ahead. Mm -hmm. But, uh, it's this slashed up gory latex mask so disturbing look at that and right away he connected the two literally literally connected the two couldn't have been more fitting i just it's just it's really gross and it's really neat so what we do with these before halloween is we stuff them with newspaper or bubble wrap whatever we have in the house just to form it and shape it and then we pin them to the wall in his room uh, I haven't shown you guys his room in quite some time. Quite some time. So, yeah, it looks kind of like a horror movie-esque studio kind of thing. It's getting that vibe. Uh, but we appreciate a really cool mask. So that's going to go as a display on his wall until he feels like donning it and walking around scaring folks. So let me show you the other halloween inspired item now when i saw this i immediately thought this would be perfect for some kind of spooky halloween costume but i'm like but it probably doesn't fit so i i put this back quite a few times and then at the end of it all i decided you know what even if it doesn't fit you it's, it's you can do something with it you can make a scary prop with it so because I wanted to wear it, I wanted to make something creepy out of this so much. Um, and I just didn't think it was going to fit. I... Let's try it on. It's zipped up. The only thing is it's missing the little crisscross tie to tile this in place. I'm going to be the Yorona. I'm going to be something. 
<laughs> I'm so happy, guys. I did not think that was going to fit. Now, the back isn't going to be as contoured and pretty once we get um the little lace because I'm a fluffy girl, okay? I got a broad everything up in here, but it fits perfect in the boobies and it fit over my belly. And considering my belly is full of potatoes and ham and cheese, I think on a empty stomach, which will be the plan, when I use this, I think it's going to be okay. I'm going to have to have help with somebody zigzagging me in the back. And like I said, it's not going to be a real pretty line, but I don't care. It fit. The only thing I'm worried about is falling on my face. But I am so stinking happy, guys. Now, the only bad thing with this friggin' dress, the static. From when we were at the store to just now, it is making me pop. Now, this was definitely, I'm going to assume a Halloween costume because there's a lot of this fake silver hair in it. So, I think somebody was playing Yorona or I'm not sure. But that's what I want to do with it. I just love it. I think it is so, I thought it was so pretty and neat to begin with but now that i know it fits oh heck yeah it's just so full of friggin static can y'all hear the i don't know if y'all can hear the snap crackle in the pop but look at these crazy balloon sleeves oh my gosh i am so excited now i had already decided that i was going to be some kind of macabre sick uh cross between an angler fish and a mermaid. I was going to be a demented, big toothed, freaky mermaid uh, for Halloween this upcoming year. I mean, I already have the costume and the makeup and everything in my head. So perfect. But now maybe I can do two costumes, one for one function, another for another function. Here I am making plans. And they say the best thing, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. Cause only God knows what's going on. Uh, what if, what if, what if I'm not even living here in, in at, at, at Thanksgiving at Halloween? What if Halloween is canceled? What if you never know, but I would like, let's put it that way. I would like to use this dress for a function but that's the last halloween-esque thing that we picked up uh i got a few other little things now this i could not resist y'all know me in the letter m right this is the prettiest little tote and i'm like this would be so nice for water park for um what is this or, um, you know, when you're out, when I'm out flea marketing and stuff, look at this pretty, look how roomy it is. That's a nice roomy tote with an M. I love it. What is it worth? Oh, I guess you tie this on the, on here somewhere, I guess, like tie it and let it dangle, but it doesn't really match. I don't think it matches and the bag was sealed so i'm assuming that came with it oh but i love it i just think it is so 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 nice and then also thinking of flea markets and just quick little running around here and there and here and there i have always said and I'm, i swear i'm being a two-faced i've always said if you're over the age of 22 you ain't got no business wearing a backpack okay none at all honey but as I've watched people with backpacks, it makes sense. If you're working and going to school or just doing all kinds of things in your life, a backpack makes sense. Just have it be like age appropriate, I think. So at the risk of being a two-faced, I found this lovely little gem. This little black backpack. New with a tag. Um, little compartments here on the side, little side pockets, both sides, lots of little spots and areas to put things in. And I just think this is going to be, look, I don't even know how to wear one, how you do it like that. Yeah, I just think it would be nice. It would be nice and convenient and safe. Like whatever you put in here ain't going to come out, ain't going to fall out. 
couldn't resist it. And for six dollars, I thought that was a really, really good buy. So grab that. Can't really tell how the the details on it because it's so dark, but got that. And then is that it? The only other thing I picked up. Couldn't resist. It's a tankini swimsuit new in the pack. Now this is 3X. And it looks like it's going to fit. I ain't going to try this on for y'all. Don't nobody need to see no cellulite thighs and, and all that. I mean, I'm showing my arms off right now as it is. But yeah, don't nobody need to see the hail damage. But it feels wide enough for my football player frame. But it's this cute little tankini. And these are way shorter than I'm used to, but they still look like a short. Okay. Where your bumpies aren't going to be hanging out. Your buttocks, your nalgas, your badonka donk, uh, your junk won't be hanging out. And this is a, it says 3XL, but it looks like it'll fit me. Now, I don't know if my ego wants to be hurt or not. Maybe sizing is super big wherever this is from. You know, with mail order, you never know. Usually they come from China. And their sizing over there is like their large is a small. Their extra large is a medium. Their small is a X, XS, you know. So, I don't know. I don't care. I'm not going to let the, I'm going to try not to let the numbers hurt me. But I think it'll fit. I'll try that on here in a little bit. And the only other thing I picked up was something for Martin, uh, which he doesn't appreciate at all. He doesn't appreciate mama. He doesn't appreciate mama looking out for him. But it was adorable. I, I, I had to have it for him, especially after they opened it up for me to sneak a peek a loom and I saw what it was going to look like. Are you stinking kidding me? So this is this adorable little salad bowl for a cat. I call it a salad bowl. Looks like a salad bowl. Has a little scratchy posts and a little sleepy dome. And it comes with this cute little card. So sweet. And he has no interest in it, y'all. None at all. He likes a box of Cayman. And this is a box. It was brand new. Um, they opened it for me to make sure that all the parts were in there and it still had the little styrofoamy stuff on it and everything. So, got this. And maybe he'll actually use it. Now, I can't believe that anybody would pay that much for that. But, according to two websites, that's crazy to work. And I paid six bucks. But that's everything, guys. Uh, we're going to settle down for the evening. It's pretty late now. It's creeping up on 11. We're going to settle down and look for something to carry on, on the tube. And wait for this weather to come in. For this weather. For this weather to roll in. And uh, just be nice and cozy for the next however many days. We're going to be under this watch. So if you're here locally, wherever you are, I know the weather's going kind of wonky anywhere. Be safe. Be very, very careful. If you don't need to be out on the road, stay inside, guys. Um, just stay warm and um, relax. My body is trying, trying to, hello, back, bulge discs. The cold's going to kill you. But I'm trying not to let that happen. So I am pill popped uh, and ready to just settle down and relax with my little dude. So until my next go around, guys, I love y'all my jizz. Bye.
So I came out here to see what 14 degree weather did. Um, and you guys, it's bone dry. No accumulation of water anywhere. Bone stinking dry and it looks as if though the water has been taken out. I'm too cold and in too much pain body-wise to remove the little top but <laughs> you guys there's not even any wet residue or puddle my fountain is frozen but it's crazy it's good but crazy at the same time I mean did they come out here with friggin mops and blowers and dry up the residue I mean the water in the house is fine Okay, see, this little bit of water is frozen, so that turned to ice. Um, so they didn't get this spot, which is fine, but everything else is bone dry. Bella Boo Boo. I need you to try out your shelter, little miss. Get in there. Get in there, Bella Boo Boo. We made her a little shelter out of an Amazon box and some sheets and towels. Put a little roof over it. She's had lunch, well, some lunch, but I don't think she understands that there's warmth in here. Come here. Come here, Bella Bicious. Bella Bicious. Bella Licious. Why are you making things difficult? You can't go inside. Martin does not approve. And I don't know if you're sickly or not. I think my coming in and out woke Martin up. Now he's deciding whether he should venture outside. It's 14 degrees, y'all. She went in. Yay. She went in. Now get cozy and stay in there. Okay, she explored a little. Martine, let her eat. Let her get comfy. Oh, her food must be frozen by now. It froze. Oh, no. Let me get her some crunching. Poor baby. It's so cold I hear her food froze. Oh, I prefer her to have some meat. I don't know why I think that will keep her warmer. But, uh. She definitely needs to eat. Hopefully she'll get into her little box later. Martination is investigating. I don't know why, but I love to stand outside and look in when the fireplace is on. It gives me such a feeling of comfort. I don't have the fanciest of anything, but it's home and it's where my kids are. It's where we're safe. It's very, very comforting.